video so today's video is going to be another synthetic wig review and today's wig is sent to us by divatress.com thank you so much divatress for sponsoring this video so let's jump right into this hair the wig I'm going to be reviewing today is from the company Bobby Boss. It is their lace front Swiss lace wig. I love Swiss lace wigs. They are so soft and comfortable to wear. This wig is Mignon and the color is TT1B D Teal. All right, so let's pull her out and see how she looks. The color is so pretty. Wow, this color is really pretty. See how the parting space looks? Wow, the parting space looks good. What? Yes, part. Okay, so let's get into the cap construction. It looks like there are two combs. One is right by the part and one is on the side by the ear. It looks like this is going to be a side part. And... There is one comb in the back and your two adjustable straps. Ooh, Mignon. Okay, girl. Mignon is so soft. Like, it is so soft. This wig is fire, like, <laughs> this wig is fire. I'm here for this bang, like this bang is just giving me what I really need right now. And look how this wig just moves, like, that's so pretty. That's so pretty how this wig does this. I wish I could walk around like this. Like, you don't have to see, you just have to be extra. I'm gonna be stunting on Instagram like this though. Like, you don't have to see when you're taking a picture for Instagram. <laughs> if you don't like your wig straight out the box, like sometimes they have this little slight hump to them, you can grab your, your iron and just um, push it down a little bit so that that hump isn't so obvious there now this also this hump could be like this because um my braid pattern underneath um bumped up like that y'all y'all the fireness of this is just wild and i feel like this hair isn't even doing too much like this color isn't doing too much. Or maybe that's, is that just me? Like that might just be me who feels like blue hair is not doing too much. Like, to me, this is a very mature hairstyle. So even in this blue color, I don't feel like it looks childish or like you're doing too much if you're a woman of a certain age wearing this hair. Like I personally would think that you would be super stylish if you were wearing this hair color. And I would definitely say that this color in person and on the camera, it does read very blue, but in person at the bottom, it does read a little more tealish. This color to me looks more like a deep aqua as opposed to teal. To me, teal says that there's more green in it, but I'm not at all disappointed in this color 
or this hair. All right, y'all, so we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about this wig. This is the review. First is the texture. It's definitely a yakky texture. It has a little bit of a kink to it, but it's absolutely soft. Talk about the flow on this hair. This hair moves freely. I mean, it is just freely moving. Now, mind you, I never comb my wigs. I never brush my wigs. This is what I do to my wigs. So when people say, oh, well, I got my wig and it don't look like yours and it don't move like yours. So I'm just putting that out there, public service announcement. <laughs> the cut is definitely going to be just past your shoulder um, and it does have a bump at the end of the hair. I will say the bump is almost, it almost feels like a curl. It doesn't feel like just a bump. Like it does have sort of a curl to it. So let that be known. And then this front is, is a little heavy um, in the bang area. And I feel like some of the bang pieces up here could actually be trimmed a little more. Overall, I think the cut on this wig is really dope. It's definitely got that length of a very believable length and a very believable style. I feel like if you got this wig in a natural black or like a two, it would definitely pass and it would be very natural looking. Let's talk a little bit about tangling and shedding. So my wig is not tangling at all. As you run your fingers through it, I would expect to get maybe one strand when you run your hands through it, which I think is fine. I think the parting space is awesome. I did not pluck any hairs out of this part. All I did was add my foundation and I added just a little bit of baby hairs in the front. All right, you guys, if you have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. I'll talk to you in the next one. Stay tuned for the slow-mos.